Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? You ready? Go, guys. All right, so fight. here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big-time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Oh, that's a nice strike. Nice body. And they separate. Look at how he turned his hips into that leg kick. But a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, nice jab. Great punch. They're certainly getting after it early. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shots that's incoming. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Big head kick land. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, that's a big hook there. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh, and he caught the kick. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Straight right, he misses. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Right hand on point. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Ooh, what a punch. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Oh, big head kick land. Overhand attempt now, it's blocked by Lee. Get out of there, separate, get your space back. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. comes the separation now. Put your hands up higher. Come on. What a punch. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. It's such a fast leg kick. We cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 15 seconds. Ten seconds on the clock. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh man, head kick land. Oh, big punch land. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Jump that round. All right, I'm gonna get back out there and put it on him now. It's a little payback time. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He room. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. He blocks the punch. Straight punch lands. Oh, collar tie. 
Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Nice counter shot there. They continue to exchange. Oh, and he caught the kick. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. Nice hit, kick. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Good stick. Big leg kick land. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Big kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. the side kick. Let's go, you can do this. Keep going forward. Great punch landing with so much power. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Real quick leg kick. Nice kick there by Lee. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Keep your hands up, boy. Punch over the top. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. He got the turtle in that kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Overhand left. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. Clinch now. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Seconds winding down in round two. Lee gets caught with that punch. Two rounds in the books. All right, let us now look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. And as far as flying knees go, that one was near perfection. Yeah, I mean, that was as perfectly timed as you're going to see a flying knee. He propelled himself off of the octagon canvas and landed that knee perfect, got the knee to the target, and really did hurt his opponent.
All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action good. continues at a high yeah. level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. The previous round continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Big shot lands. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Nice leg kick lands. Ooh, blocks the shot. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any help. Big kick land. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Powerful leg kick land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, vicious knees landing up top. No head gear allowed in the octagon. And at some point defensively, if you don't adjust, the referee's going to step in. The night is almost over. If you don't defend yourself, you will eventually go to sleep. Good punch. Nice head kick. Oh, nice right hand. Oh. Three minutes now to go in this one. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice loop and punch. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Big leg kick lands. Got clip with the right hand. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Sneaky head kick. Educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Nice leg kick. Misses with that punch. Try to establish that jab. That was a thudding leg kick. Nice punch by Lee. And they separate. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Big kick lands. Just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. And final seconds of round three. 
All right, three oh. rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship right. rounds. What is a right. fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test you to become champion. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Nice one-two there. Back and forth we go! Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Nice shot moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Big kick land. Just out of range with the big right hand. Pretty good right hand. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well done to catch the kick, we'll see what he can do. Oh, what a punch. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, big head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Nice kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Left hand punch with the clinch. Under two minutes to go. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. All right, then a left. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. So he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but it doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Kick, kick lands. Nice, sneaky head kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice punch, man. Head kick. 
Straight right hand, no good. Thirty seconds remain in the round. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Big body kick. That's a big strike right there. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head of that. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself out. Nice. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his fullness. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Nice kick. Punch coming. It's blocked. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Beautiful strike. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Hey, put your hands up higher. Come on. It's right hand upstairs. Let me see that hook down. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big kick. Whiffs on that offering. Take a Big punch lands through the middle. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Leg kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Relax. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are... Beautiful punch. Plus right hand is true. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just missing on the high kick there. Missed with that attempt. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, wow! Head kick. One minute to go in the fight. Look at him 
whip his hip into that kick. He splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, Superman punch! Over. Out of range with that kick attempt. Beautiful leg kick throw. to the body here, that one appeared to be blocked. Slips the shot. He's hurt, he's hurt bad. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slight lean to the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spot, and he should retain his title. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Great Lee. So there he is, and still the baddest man the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. It wasn't everyone's expectation that it would go the full 25 minutes here tonight, but whatever it takes is what he said during fight week, and that's exactly what he needed here tonight. After